I'm glad I didn't take it either. Uh, it would have... I would have had to basically become... We're moving from a city boy to a country boy. That's all I can really say about that. Massive, massive lifestyle change. So, let's see here. So that's where we started from. Yeah, that creature bit us, for sure. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is salt that could end up totally on your plate. Or it's like industrial salt used in other factories. Push, push, push. Well, you know what, Bench? You're welcome to stay where you like. I multi-stream because I uh, just want to give people options. You're welcome to hang out wherever you choose. thought there might be a bobblehead over here. No. Okay, so these guys are definitely a lot harder than any of the other uh, minions I've faced so far. Well, I think that's going to be a problem. What else we got? I haven't had to hide since very early on in the game when we were hiding from uh, Daddy. Oh, seriously? Darn. That's bad. And our pants are filthy. Okay. Hello? Um... Why are there bathtubs in here? Alright, herbs. Holy moly. Thank you guys, it's been about a week since my head's been clear and back to normal and she still thinks she's got me. You guys really need to work on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, but she's about as stupid as one. Mom and Dad are totally under, though. I was wondering, is this whole family obsession something you guys programmed into her? Kinda fucked up. The bitch Mia is somewhere, is still somewhere in between Evie a La La Land and reality, she gets pretty violent. So I locked her up in a cell, though maybe Evelyn would get mad since Mia's her favorite and all, but she doesn't seem to care. She actually goes and visits her sometimes. She thinks Mia's her mommy, like I said. Your bio weapon effed up. Evelyn's family obsession of getting out is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more uh, off the streets to add to her freak show of a family. Maybe she's getting tired of me and not coming around, but it's a pain in the ass for me because I gotta clean up the mess whenever someone new comes along. By the way, Evie's looking sick or something. Her skin is getting all wrinkly and she's getting gray hairs. Is that supposed to happen? It's almost like she's getting old all of a sudden. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. dun. Nope, nothing there. Now, was there anything? Did I miss something outside here? I don't think I did. Let's have a look. Don't think I did, but let me just do a quick little walk around here. Yeah, somebody's getting old all of a sudden. Gee. Doesn't look like I can push that. Oh, there's a bonus. Burner fuel. Okay, so they're giving us burner fuel. That's a good thing. Good thing, because I brought my burner. Thought I might have wasted a weapon slot. Okay, let's go. We are ready to march forward. So that was an email of sorts. What a mess this is. Okay. Got some chemistry stuff going on in here. So, let's go this way. Well, I mean, the grandma was like... I thought somebody might have been pushing her around. In the, uh, you know, in the game there. Because she seemed to, like, pop up everywhere. This report details the symptoms that appear when the bacterium that grows inside of the E-series infects a humid. Be sure to read this document thoroughly before dealing with E-Series weaponized assets. 
hereafter referred to as mold. Initial infection, the mold ingests nutrients from the subject's body to propagate itself and slowly takes over cells within the body. As a side effect of this, the infected subject gains remarkable regenerative abilities. During experiments, we removed arms and legs from test subjects and found that they were able to co-adapt the amputated limbs in a matter of minutes. Mid-stage infection, once the mold reaches the brain, the subject's thoughts become in tune with those of the E-series asset. The subject starts to hear things and experience hallucinations and soon comes under complete control of the E-series asset. If this state continues, the host will lose all sense of ego. Complete infection. After every cell in the body is taken over by the mold, the subject begins to lose their human form. Physical mutations differ from case to case, but all result in him or her acquiring incredible physical strength. Containing a subject at this stage would be extremely difficult. Story exposition. Induda. Wow, what a mess in here. Whoa. Eight minutes after dosing, vomiting. E neurotoxin E series. 12 minutes after dosing, cell calcification. 10 minutes after dose, death. Okay. Uh oh. My Apple Watch is working. Hey, we saw one of these on the ship. Let's put the sample in here. Boom. Is it working? Yes, all the creatures we've seen before were humans at one point. We have the neurotoxin. Yeah, that's a thing. E necrotoxin destroys cells of any subject based on the E series bioweapon model, used only for disposal of E series assets. The toxin must be first stimulated before use. Do this by placing a sample of E series cells into the ne necrotoxin container. Which we just did. We put our cells in there and we made it. Now we've got what we need to take her down. This project was instigated in 2000 as one of the several concepts of the country's NECBAS. Next Generation Experimental Battlefield Superiority Initiative. Working with technical assistance of the HCF to develop a bioweapon to neutralizing combatants en masse with minimal direct contact. Next pass was later folded and all its assets is diverted to this project. What makes this project markedly different from the conventional weapons is its ability to turn enemy combatants into allies, converting hostile elements into willing servants. Since this effectively eliminates the cost of not only POW handling, but also combat itself, it's no wonder we had the blank and even the redacted and blank organization chopping at the bit to get on board. The project never would have existed were it not for the discovery in blank of blank. A remarkably progressed vicariant evolution fungus that we commonly term the mutamycet. Fabrication method of each bioweapon was the to introduce the my mutamycet genome into pre-stage 4 human embryo. Wow, pre-stage 4 human embryo? And perform cultivation. Wow. Series A through D through to perfect E. Common appearance was selected for the bioweapons. That of a roughly 10 year old girl to ensure ease of blending in with urban refugee populations. The first E series specimen named Evelyn has proven capable of secreting the mutamycet. Redacted from her tissue at will. It is also of note that Evelyn imposes a profound control over body and mind when introduced to a host organism. We still have a lot to learn about the mechanism by which Evelyn achieves and maintains this control, but the working theory is that the vector is similar to the auto-inducer pheromones used in Corium sent Oh my god, big words. Evelyn's control is exerted by in a series of discrete stages, first with hallucinations. Almost immediately after infection, the subject begins to see images of Evelyn and even hear her voice. I feel like that's what we've been going through. 
Ah, uh, auditions with infected subjects throughout the stages of infection reveal that at first the phantom Evelyn appears not to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring companionship or assistance. As time progresses, she becomes more and more extreme demands, including self-mutilation and attacks on other people. The psychological so shock this induces helps to break down the mind's natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effect. And by the time mental control is achieved, the infection has progressed throughout the body cells, so the body redacted. Whoa, Evelyn is a bioweapon of extraordinary abilities. Holy moly. Evelyn's functions also include the ability to form organisms. The term organism is used loosely here, strictly speaking. They are superorganisms formed at the counts. Oh my gosh. What's important though is that they exhibit a strong survival instinct and will defend themselves ferociously. Their fungal toughness and remarkable strength give them significant battlefield potential. Researchers have called these superorganisms molded, made out of mold, and also molded into shape. Name has a certain elegance to it. She is totally a B.O.W. who makes molds. The treatment of accidental infections performing redacted on samples of Evelyn's body, she should produce this unique fungal cytal serum. Administering the serum to an infected subject will cause classify and if the subject's cells are already largely invaded, the serum will be fatal. Since the treatment window is so small, the serum's primary use is therefore disposal of infected subjects rather than cure. Exploring the serum's potential, we found that subjecting it to blank would enhance its abilities to extreme potency, becoming a compound we now call E-necrotoxin, which redacted even in tiny amounts. Man, we got like text for days here, folks. What's been interesting to observe in Evelyn's behavior is her obsession with the concept of family. In experiments, we found on multiple occasions that infected subjects were compelled to act as her mother or father, treating her as if she were really their daughter. Why did she settle upon family as the theme for her mental control? This is just speculation, but it could be that she instinctively understands that a family unit is better suited to blending into social groups than a lone girl. On the other hand, well, a sentimental sort of mind suggests that she's making up for a perceived lack of love in her quarantined upbringing. A parent's love. Evelyn, Evelyn, Evelyn. Yeah, all of the words. Now we've got all the story explained to us. And we have a safe room. Yay! I didn't have to carry all this stuff that I carried with me, but... Okay, flame rounds. That is screaming. We're gonna need a grenade launcher. Screaming grenade launcher. Okay. Oh, boy. So I... Th I don't know. Flamer, folks? Do you think I should get rid of the flamer? Yeah, notes for days. Machine gun ammo, handgun ammo, pants handgun, machine gun. I think we'll keep the machine gun. Uh, I'm tempted to get rid of the burner. Uh, handgun ammo is good to have for shooting boxes. Don't need that. Flame. Yeah, like I'm thinking about getting the grenade launcher back. And maybe making some uh, grenades. Let's see here. How many of those strongs do I have? Two strongs. Three gunpowders. Let's see what we can make here. Although, I'd, I'd love to make one of these though. Nero rounds. Ammo for grenade launcher contains a powerful poison that affects the nervous system. Hmm. Oh, a solid fuel I need for that. Huh. Enhanced ammo. Sure, whatever. I don't think I have solid fuel. That's the problem! Jefferson! Thank you for the follow. We are getting really close to the end of Resident Evil 7. We got more horror games coming up the month of October. Mondays and Fridays. I also stream a little less... Uh, adult games, I guess you could say, on weekends. I have the supplement. 
I do. I'm looking for it. I wish there's like some sort of like sorting mechanism here. Oh, I do. What's the, that's just for what though? I needed the solid fuel, right? I don't think I needed supplements. It was the round disky things I needed. Yeah, I don't think that's the right one. Oh, I have the, I can make this though, right? Eh, why not? Why not? It takes up an extra piece of inventory space, but eh. Why not indeed? Okay, so I got a ton of machine gun ammo. Not sure what else I need to bring here. Handgun and enhanced handgun. Um, I think I'm good for now, right? I think we're good. Strong first aid. I'm gonna take that just for... I made the thing, I might as well take it with me. Corrosive? Ugh. All right, let's go. We're gonna save it right here. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I feel like he's uh, suffering. You know what I'm gonna do, actually? I'm gonna grab another uh, health pot thing. Why not? I think I had extras in here. Oh, you know what? Whatever. We'll keep it. We will keep it. We will keep it. Okay, so we're on this side of that now. Not such luck. So what do we got? We got crappy ammo. And the good stuff. I could probably take a pop a pill to check for hidden loot here. Another bomb. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so let's go this way then. Here we go, folks. Ooh, water. Somebody's singing. Hear that person singing? We are still exploring the salt mines here. There is definitely somebody singing in here. Oh, she stopped singing. Oh! Evie! Die. What do you mean, die? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, I don't like the sounds of this. Come on, Evie. I'm afraid to walk in here. I guess I could run in here. Oh, hello. Oh, no, 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 no. Mom. Hi, ladies. Yeah, how do you like them apples? Go big or go home! And yeah, they are definitely tougher molds now. Like the ones we uh, experienced at Baker House were weak compared to these ones. Okay, we got things to you with here. Oh, herbs. I can't even carry the herbs. Okay, let's uh, load up the sh load this up then. Oh, I only have one. One at a time I can hold. Alright. Ah, uh, sure. Okay. 
Let's carry on then.